How are you guys tonight? Good? Good. How was trick-or-treating? Did you have a good time? I had fun too. I saw some really creepy costumes, but I saw some very, very beautiful costumes and some adorable little costumes on the little babies. They were such a, they were so nice. Everybody did. Moms, you all did such a great job this year getting those costumes ready and getting those kids up for the holiday. All the kids in my neighborhood had a great time. And they got lots and lots of candy. Yeah. So it was a great day. It really was. Even though we had little, little sprinkles of rain, it was okay. We still had a really good time. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you that tonight I'm going to be reading a story about the coming fall. It's a, it's a very lovely story. It's a very peaceful story. It's going to help you go to sleep because it's a nice, quiet, it's not our usual silly story. This is a nice, quiet, pretty story about the fall and our animal friends that get ready and even how people get ready. So we'll get to read that. But before I get started, I always have to say hi to everybody. And, um, you know, I also want to take this one moment to say, Mamas, Mamas, I'd like it. I please and thank you if you will like and subscribe to this channel then this channel can get bigger and better and if you share it on your Facebook and, and forward to your friends then more and more children will get to hear my stories and that's what I'm aiming to do so I would appreciate that moms hit that notification button then you get a ding a ling a ling when I come on and read some more stories and then you'll know when to get the kids all ready okay okay but then once you get to my channel my, my stories are looped, and you can just let your kids listen and listen there on those cold, snowy days when they can't go out and play. I'll read them stories all day long. <laughs> so thank you, mommies. I appreciate that, and I really could use your help with this. Like, subscribe, and share. Okay. Well, let's get started saying hi to all of our friends. And moms, please feel free to send a comment at the bottom of, my, at the, bottom of the page here. Tell me your little one's name, and I'll say hi to them, too. But even if I don't say your name, I'm still happy that you're here. And so then, and, and, the, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Adorable. Hi, Mr. How have you been? Did you have fun trick-or-treating? Yeah, you did. Good. Mr. Adorable, we just love him. <laughs> well, Mr. Adorable wants to hear a story with us. So... What's he doing? <laughs> if you want to listen to a story, you got to go sit with the kittens. Okay? Okay, Mr. Adorable. There he goes. There he goes. All right, Mr. Adorable. We love you so much. So much. I want to say hi to my friends that I have the names for, but if I don't have to say your name, I still say hi, and I'm glad you're here. I say hello to Lainey and Nicole and Addison, Chloe and Izzy and Abby, Katana, Ari and Anthony, Justin and Bella, Skydler, Lukey and Sophia, Gemma and Sammy and Reese, Max, Brianna and Giada, Xavier, Paisley and their little baby brother Grayson, Joey and Odessa, Johnny, Marley, Charlotte, Landon, Annie and Kimber, two little sisters, Jacob, Peter, Timmy, Lily and Otto, a sister with two brothers and Livy, Gigi and Jordan and Emmy. Hi everyone and if I didn't say your name hi 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 I'm glad you're here and you know what I always tell you if you ever want to hear a story then you come see me because that's what I do I read to you. Noni read to me. Okay let's get started with this wonderful story. Okay, it's called In November by Cynthia Ryland. Cynthia Ryland. In November. Look at this. Mom. Where do you see these pictures? These pictures are so pretty. I love to get books with pretty pictures. This one has a nice one. Look at that little mouse. Isn't he adorable? Okay, so In November is what we're reading tonight. Ready? Me too. Okay, In November. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice, read this little piece to you. This is nice. In November, the air grows cold in the earth and all of its creatures prepare for winter. Animals seek food and shelter. And people gather together to celebrate their blessings with families and friends. Curl up with your loved ones and enjoy the sights and sounds and scents, which is the smell, and the traditions of this very special time of year. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. Okay. All right, guys. In Oh, this is nice. Just a nice little autumn leaf in November. In November. That's where we are right now. Today's November 4th, 2021. So it's close to still in the beginning. In November by Cynthia Ryland. Okay, every single page has a pretty picture. So I'm going to show you every single page. Okay? Okay. Oh, that's not even a part of the story there. What's that? Something like blah, blah, blah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> in November, the earth is growing quiet. It is making its bed a winter bed for flowers and small creatures. That's beautiful. The bed is white and silent. And much of life can hide beneath its blanket. That white silent blanket, that's snow, huh? That's just such a pretty thought, huh? Nice way to think about snow. Oh, in November, the trees are standing all sticks and bones. Without their leaves, how lovely they are. Spreading their arms like dancers, they know it is time to be still. And here's all the trees. All their leaves have fallen. Look, a little glare there. All their leaves have fallen. Now they're just sticks and bones now. Not too much dancing and swaying around like in the summer when the breezes blow and all the leaves blow. Now they're just sticks. Oh, in November, some birds move away and some birds stay. The air is full of goodbyes and well wishes. The birds who are leaving look very serious. No silly spring chirping now. They have long journeys and must watch where they are going. So here's some birds. These ones are going to stay for the winter. I don't know why. They just are. Certain ones stay, certain go. And there's some leaving. They say that some birds fly south for the winter to Florida where it's warm. Or to wherever it's warm. I don't know. Florida. But anyway, yeah. Isn't that nice? It's nice. Huh. And you always, a lot of times, you see a lot of big packs of birds flying overhead. Watch out your windows in the next few weeks. Oh, here's something nice. The staying birds are serious, too. For cold times lie ahead. Hard times, too. All of berries will be treasures. See? Now, these birds are gathering nuts and berries and some and, and leaves and stuff. So, they, have, they put that all that food away for the wintertime. Because they don't have, they won't be able to, to gather food because of the snow. And nothing, you know, nothing's, you know, alive in the wintertime. So they're gathering berries and they're getting their nest all ready, see? It's pretty, huh? That bird's nice. That's a red bird. I like him. Oh, look at this. In November, animals sleep more. The air is chilly and they shiver. So do people. Now he shivers in the wintertime. Look at this. This is a farmer getting all his animals ready. There's a big horse, and there's some cows laying down. And there's the farmer. He's carrying some uh, stuff and some, probably some hay and some apples and stuff for the animals for wintertime. Because they got to stay in the warm barn. There they go. See? They're all getting ready. They're all getting ready for winter. Because it's starting to get cold at night. Those animals got to help. They got to they done it cuddled together. Oh, where do you see cats pile up in the corners of the barns? Look at these kittens. We love these kittens, don't we? Don't ever tell me something about kittens. I love kittens. Look at those kittens. They're so cute. All piled up together, keeping each other warm in the barn. Good for them that they have each other, huh? I love them kittens. They're adorable. Oh, even these little mice pile up under logs. Look at these mice. They're all piled up under logs, staying warm, all piled up together, keeping each other warm. And the bees even 
They even pile up deep in the earth. They make holes in the dirt. The um, bumblebees. See them here? You see? Yeah. Okay, there's the bees. They get it, they go down in the dirt and they 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 could stay they get all cuddled up together and stay warm for the winter time down in the dirt. See animals know what to do to take care of themselves. And those little mice, aren't they adorable? Oh, look at this. Oh, and dogs lie before the warm fireplace. Look at these guys. Look at this big dog. That dog looks really happy. He hears his people talking. Maybe they're saying, that dog needs to go out for a walk. And he's looking up saying, not me, I'm cold. And there's his buddy. Maybe that's his brother. Maybe that's his brother puppy, huh? Yeah, or maybe it's his son. Who knows? But they're laying by the fire. We know that. Oh, in November, the smell of food is different. It's an orange smell. A squash and a pumpkin smell. It tastes like cinnamon and can fill the house up in the morning. And can pull everyone from bed, even in a sleepy fog. Food is better in November than any other time of year. It does seem like that, huh? See? And here's the mama baking all this good stuff. Pies, squash, pumpkins. There she's making Maybe she's made some cranberry muffins. And there's her people, her kids. That's her kids coming down the steps from uh, sleeping. Because they're saying, Mmm, something smells good, Mama. What you making? She says, I made a pie. And I made some muffins, too. Cranberry muffins. Maybe some uh, zucchini bread. Pumpkin pie. Mmm, 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 mmm. That really sounds good to me. Makes me feel like making a pie. Oh, in November, people are good to each other. They carry pies to each other's homes, and they talk by crackling wood, wood fires, sipping cider, apple cider, warm apple cider. Yummy. Look at this whole family getting together. They're all just sharing the day. They're all warm and toasty, and maybe they're into grandma's house. There's your grandma, grandpa, and there's all the kids. There's some, some more big people. There's aunts and uncles, probably, or whatever. Someone's mom and dad. There's that dog. Oh, here she has a little baby. Isn't he cute? They're all gathered up there, and the grandma's carrying out snacks, and the grandpa's got some apple cider he's passing out to everybody. That's not nice that they're all getting together, sharing them, staying warm together at the grams, and they're all eating, having pie, and, and apple cider, and cookies, and cranberry muffins. In November, they travel very far on a special November day just to share a meal with one another and to give thanks for their many blessings. What day is that? We know. Special November day to give thanks. Thanksgiving. I love that day. I love to be with my family and have good food and talk and, and laugh about all the fun things that went on in the summertime and all the things we hope for for the coming year. For the food on their table and the babies in their arms, they are thankful. And here they are having that special Thanksgiving dinner. There it is. There's all that good food that they all made. They, there's the grandma and grandpa and all the kids, all the grandkids and the moms and dads. Look at all that food. Isn't that nice? I always get mixed up when I... There we go. Now you can see that beast. Look at that beast. Good for them, huh? They are thankful for the food on their table and the babies in their arms. And then they travel back home. And oh, look. It's time to go home. So everybody's saying goodbye on the porch. There's all there. Every saying, bye, Uncle Joe, and petting the dog. See a see a dog. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandpa. There's a dog, another dog. This one's saying, goodbye, Uncle Bill. There they are. All saying, goodbye. I love to have this special Thanksgiving dinner with you, and I will see you again soon. And they all say goodbye because everybody's going to travel back to their homes after having that special Thanksgiving meal at their Grammys. And, or anywhere, you know, I've got your Grams, you can go any place, but those people were at their Grandmas. So, in November, 
at Winter's Gate. The stars are brittle. The sun is so a sometimes friend. And the whole world has tucked her children in with a kiss on their heads till spring. That's beautiful. I'm going to read that part again. In November at Winter's Gate, the stars are brittle. The sun is a sometime friend, and the world has tucked her children in with a kiss on their heads till spring. Isn't that beautiful? Weren't these pictures in here gorgeous, too? Look at that. Isn't that nice? I think that's it. That is it. I love this book. This book made me feel warm and toasty. This book by Cynthia Ryland in November. This book made me feel warm and toasty. I really like this story a lot. I hope you did too. Okay, in November, Cynthia Ryland, good story. Illustrated by Jill Kastner. Good work there, ladies. I love that story very much. Okay, everybody. Well, listen. Saturday night, don't forget. Oh, wait. Before I say that, I always like to say, what do we talk about in this book? About getting ready for winter time, having that special Thanksgiving meal. Just because summer's over doesn't mean good times aren't ahead, because they are. And there's plenty of time to see our families and friends, but still stay nice and toasty warm. That's right. So, you enjoy your families. But, I want, and, and always come back and listen to my stories too, because I'll keep you nice and toasty warm at night too. So, okay, listen, don't forget Saturday night we're going to read a very, very special book called The Velveteen Rabbit. It's a little bit long, but you're going to love that story. Just love it. So, okay, y'all snuggled up in your beds. It's time to mwah, 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 give our kisses. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Behave yourselves and be good and, and stay near your mom and dad. Don't want to get lost. I don't want to be getting lost. <coughs> Moms, dads, you're getting ready this holiday season to make donations to your favorite charity. Don't forget to include St. Jude's Children's, Re Children's Research Hospital. They appreciate every penny they get and help every single child. Not a penny. You don't. They don't. People don't pay a penny for their sick babies. They just concentrate on on loving their child while St. Jude picks up the tab. And that's because of people like us that make a donation. No, no donations too small. Five bucks. They're happy. Anything you can give, just remember St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital when you're making your donations this year. Okay, love you guys so much. Don't forget, Mama, like, subscribe, and share my videos so I can keep talking and, and reading stories to even more children. That'll happen by you sharing my videos. I love you very much, and I'll see you guys on Saturday night for a long story. The Velveteen Rabbit. And thank you for coming to read in November with me. I love you. I hope you love me as much as I love you. Mwah! There's a kiss for you guys. I love you so much. Have good sleeps. See you in a couple days. Bye-bye.